Hello friends, it's Anna Komenda here. Welcome in my next video for Pink Fresh Studio. Today I am working with their new collection called My Favorite Story and uh, Cut File uh, called Floral Reef. I will leave you the link uh, in the description box to the cut file. Um, I'm starting with 12 by 12 watercolor paper sheet and I'm sketching around the wreath uh, on my background. I want to fill the space under the wreath with colors and put the wreath, the white uh, outline on top of them. I am using a set of Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolors. They are highly saturated and the quality of them is really, really great. So you don't need a lot of color. I applied a few drops on my uh, clean uh, plastic palette and I'm ready to start painting. Remember to use a proper paper because regular cardstock won't work in uh, this technique. You need a paper that can hold a lot of water and it's kind of forgiving when it comes to moisture. I'm starting with a pink color. I will list you all the colors in the description box too. It's called uh, bubblegum. And I sketched uh, with the color, I painted with the colors, uh, color uh, in the area where the biggest flower of the wreath will be. And now I'm adding just a clean water uh, to the edges of the flower because I want the flower to kind of float around. I didn't want to create a very theorem uh, design i wanted to create a kind of um, artsy messy uh, look uh, where the colors are floating around they will be just the background for the cat file um, as you can see i'm mixing different colors to create new shades when i need them and i'm starting with the flowers you can't see it but everything is sketched on my background uh, so I'm starting with the flowers first and then I will proceed to the leaves and stems and I will be using different colors of greens. The set of uh, Pink Fresh Studio watercolors have, I think, three colors of green, but you can easily create your own shades by mixing colors together. With liquid watercolors, it's a really, really simple thing to create new shades by mixing them on the palette. As you can see when I sketch the flower I'm adding just a clear water around the flower or leaf to make the colors flow and when I'm done with the flowers I'm proceeding with uh, the leaves and as I said previously I will be using different colors. Um, the leaves has different shapes so I'm using the leaf shape as a guideline where to change my color and the whimsical artsy design is starting to show up and i created a new shade of uh, green adding a little bit of blue to the green i was using previously and again i'm touching with the clean water i'm not touching all over uh, the lines i'm just adding uh, I'm just touching the water with in some points because I don't want everything to float around. I just want uh, the color to float in some points. And as you can see, I'm done with the painting. I am back to reduce some uh, elements to make the colors stronger uh, with uh, the same colors I was using to paint the flowers. I just love this whimsical color design and I will be using it as, as a background for my cut file uh, when I will be done. I'm adding the clean water to make the colors float a little bit more. Uh, with those watercolors um, they are not quite sealed like for forever you can still wet them and create a floating of some of the colors. They will not float all over um, the surface but uh, the more intense points will be able to be moved so the design is ready the design is dry and I was going to glue down the reef but then I thought the flowers are not so visible so I added a little bit of vellum behind each of the flowers so I'm just applying glue on the back of the wreath I'm gluing it on the 
piece of vellum. I have just a regular A4 size vellum that I bought in the regular shop, nothing fancy and it's quite a cheap um, supply thing. And I'm just cutting it off using the scissors. I could sketch it first uh, and trace it with the pencil and then cut it out and then glue it together, but I think this way is much faster and uh, because of the vellum being transparent I don't have to be worried that it will show up on some of the edges. And now I'm ready to glue down the wreath. I'm not gluing it down completely all over. I'm just adding drops of glue here and there because I still want it to look like it's floating over the surface. I don't want it to be glued down like with the whole um, wreath and look like, <laughs> you know, um, I'm looking for the English word, like, you know, totally flat. So I'm gluing everything down, but I'm hoping for the leaves to kind of stand out. I added two pictures of my daughter. They were taken a few years ago in Netherlands. We visited Kaukenhof Gardens. They are filled with tulips of different shapes and colors. And it was such a wonderful experience, especially for my little girl who was like wowed with <laughs> all the pretty flowers she was seeing there. So I decided to use those pictures with this colorful reef. It was spring back then and the reef also looks springish. I didn't have any particular story in mind because I already scrapbooked those pictures a few times. I really, really love them. So I just thought it would be nice to scrapbook them again. And then... And then I am ready to uh, embellish my uh, project. I am using uh, bits and pieces from my favorite story collection. I didn't use any uh, papers, but I am using embellishments like ephemera pieces and uh, uh, chipboard frames and flowers. I am playing with them, gluing them uh, around the picture and I'm going to add some uh, kind of a shop in the upper part of the reef and some candy cards on the uh, right side. I didn't want to cover my reef, so it was obvious after so much <laughs> work done around it. Uh, so I'm just placing smaller elements. Uh, I still almost covered the whole bigger flower, but I'm not worried about it. It was just the background for the project. Uh, I am focusing on the colors I used on the reef. So I'm picking yellow, blue, green and pink. But this collection is mostly about those colors. It also has a pinch of black color. So I'm trying to avoid elements with this very dark color. Uh, I don't want to add a lot of contrast here. Um, I even try to add black and white uh, stripes in the background of the paper, but I didn't like it, so I quit this idea. I decided I need some of those bows. Uh, they come in the package into sizes and you have to assemble them. So you have to create the loops, then add the bottom part with those fishy tails and then add the smaller rectangle to connect those two pieces together. Uh, you can use the suggestions on the uh, back, but you can also create your own color combinations, which is uh, great. And it's a printed fabric, so it, the bows have fantastic texture. And when the bow is uh, ready, I'm gluing everything down to my uh, layout. And I think I used some uh, 3D foam squares to do so to add even more dimension. Because if you watch my projects and my videos, you know I love adding dimension. I never do flat layouts. Uh, I'm gluing down the card and now I'm gluing down the shop front and the cute bow. Uh, everything is in pastel colors just like the pictures of my little girl and the bow is on its right spot 
and now I'm adding some smaller elements. I also fussy cutted some flowers from one of the my favorite shop papers, the tiny flowers, because uh, I was running out of ephemera pieces uh, with small elements, so I thought I will dig in into papers. I also added some of those uh, cardboard circles uh, to the project. And I'm finishing everything up with uh, some enamel dots. I just love enamel dots added to all the Pink Fresh Studio collections. You have plenty of colors and sizes to choose from. It's a really good value for the enamel dots. And the project is done. I hope you like it. Um, I had so much fun creating it and I really love the final effect. Uh, check the description box for all the links uh, thank you for stopping by and don't forget to check other videos on Pink Fresh Studio YouTube channel. See you soon. Bye bye.